Welcome to another episode of Brake Speed. Today we're going to wash the car. Very excited. Me too. Let's go. Just look at the state of it. It's it's rough. Yeah, you think this stuff is sweep off, but it's like no, it's stuck on. Look, it's like sandpaper. So then we can try foaming it, snow foaming it, and then just giving it a normal wash and yeah. see how it comes up. If it passes, then we'll see which we will polish. Yeah, exactly. But not now. Um, we were going to put it into the MOT like this, just for the fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't really see out the windows, and that feels like it might be an issue at MOT time. Yeah, and they don't undo. They don't undo, and I don't think the wipers will appreciate the moss and stuff either. Yeah. Or the grit. So yeah, without any further ado, wash it. let's wash it. Yeah. So we've given it a clean. Twice. We actually, yeah, it's, it's had two full wash cycles. It's still not perfect. No. But I mean, it's not green anymore. And it's not rough. Yeah, it's no longer rough to the touch. Yeah. Uh, basically, we've made a deal, haven't we? Like, if it passes this MOT, then we're going to polish it. We'll get the toothbrushes out, you know, get all the last bits of moss yeah. out. Until then, it's staying as it is. this is the best it's getting. Yeah. We only cleaned it so you can see the windows. We've got to check if they open. Yeah, hopefully they'll open now. They're not gunked up. Now we've just got to get on to headlights. Yep, clean up the headlights because they're a bit too frosty. Yeah. And then we'll do our other MET checks. So yeah, let's get back inside and start doing that. Get to it. All right, so as you can probably see, our headlights are frosty. Pretty frosty. Yeah. Um, we're worried that it's going to be too frosty for the MOT. Yeah. And, you know, the rest of it's starting to look quite nice. It'd be pretty good to. It's the only thing that lets it down. Yeah. No, sort of. On the outside. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to try a couple of different approaches. We're both going to wet sand them to start with up to probably like a 2000 grit. Yeah, I think so. And then I'm going to go straight for a clear coat. Yep. Which should fill like the small scratches that are still left from the 2000 grit and bring it up like paintwork. I'm going to do like a polish and wax. Which is more like the headlight restoration kits that you can buy. Yeah. So, so we compare the two, see how long they last. Yeah, see which comes out better for like clarity and stuff now. And then in a few months we'll let you know how they've, how they've weathered. Mine will just be really scratchy. It's the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> Ah, fine. So you won't be able to see out of it, it'd just be, when you put the headlights on it, it'd just be like lines. I reckon yours is going to look better now than my dodgy clear coat job with my one pack <laughs> spray can. But this will last better because it's got more UV protection. As soon as you drive out, it's just going to go... Although this car, you know, lives indoors, so... You'll just poke this side out every day. <laughs> yeah. And then just go, oh yeah, yours is rubbish. Oh, it looks like this. Yours is rubbish. Look at that. Awful. <laughs> So before you start, you want to clean your headlights. Um, we've also masked off around them just so we can protect our paintwork. And then we're going to start off with a 600 grit, work our way up, and then see what it looks like. So we are wet sanding to keep the paper from clogging. Keeps it all lubricated as well, so it's nice and easy to move around. And because of that, make sure you use automotive masking tape. And if you get normal masking tape wet, it doesn't come off. Ah, and you're left with a nice sticky... Oh, I've done that before. Yeah. Right, you leave out in the rain. Yeah, I've done that as well. I had a head gasket done on a 106 and they put masking tape over the wings and then I just left it and I could never get it back off again. <laughs> so we'll rub off the water to see where you are. All you want is like a uniform, hazy finish. They might look worse now than when you started, if yours were really light, but you need to sand to the deepest of the scratches and stuff that was on there already. And that probably do, so it's all this, it all looks the same. 
Yeah, it's not clear, but it's all... <laughs> It's all the same kind of haze. Yeah, exactly. So now we'll move off paper. I think we'll jump to a, probably a thousand. Yeah. Should be enough to take this the 600 out. So yeah, we'll just move it to the next grip and do the same again. Same again. Um, we've moved up to a 2000 now. Um, hopefully we'll start to see it getting a bit more clearer now. Oh, we've ruined them. <laughs> One of the two. Okay, so this is where we're gonna stop stages. I'm gonna go up and go to a 3000 and keep on going. And I'm gonna stop at this stage with the sanding and just clear coat it. I'm gonna have to remask because I got mine too wet and it all fell off. But I gotta put paper on anyway, so I'm gonna mask up and clear coat. And yeah, we'll see how it comes up. Okay, so you probably saw that went on really weird and it's cracked. Now I sanded it back, but there's still a bit of cracking around, which is really irritating. We Googled it, <laughs> there's loads of theories. Too much, too little, too hot, too cold, too humid. Wrong kind of lacquer. Gonna change brand, have another go. I suspect it's gonna do exactly the same again. And then I just have to sand it off and start again. And then we'll be polishing both. So let's see how we go. Attempt number two. So got a little polishing pad for the drill and some random polish that Rob got out of the garage. So we're gonna give it a few little passes around, see how it comes out. Hopefully good. It's gotta be better than my side. <laughs> Having a mare over there. <laughs> it's looking alright. Mm. It's better than what it was. If we do it from far away. Oh, it looks hazy there. We'll come back to that. It's just the light in. So we've done our first pass. We're going to wipe it down with the cloth, see how we're looking. And if we need to, we'll give it another go. Pretty good, I reckon. It's a little bit. It's pretty smooth, that. Yeah. I wonder if the insides are a bit. Froggy. Yeah. yeah. Just gonna give it a coat of wax just to give it a bit of protection. And when we've done that, we shall show you what happened over there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some cloudiness on the inside of the lens. Yeah, because it's it doesn't look clear clear, does it? Yeah, but if you catch the reflection on the outside that you've been working on, it's perfectly smooth. Yeah, it looks better. Yeah, it's a lot better than it was. Okay, so as you saw, the first coat of clear coat reacted really badly with the lens. Now, we don't really know why. Maybe it was just being put on too thick or maybe it did react. I changed to a different lacquer that I had on the shelf and that seems to be okay. But the evidence from the previous reaction is still there, so it's not, it's not as good as I was expecting. It's a bit disappointing. If you're gonna go for this, I still think clear coat is probably the best approach, but you can't argue that that Luke's headlight <laughs> looks a lot better. So just be careful, maybe check the exact clear coat you're using. Someone else has tried on a headlight or something. If you can get a 2K spray can, that's what I used before, that seemed to be a lot less fussy. But 2K is really nasty stuff. You should have an FF mask. It's okay, it's better than it was, but when you get at an angle, you can see like the crack marks and stuff. It'll be all right for MIT, it'll be all right for our track car, but I'm pretty annoyed how much nicer that one looks. Okay, we're clean, the headlights are, Kind of clean. <laughs> kind of clean, sort of defrosted, good enough for the MOT. And the other stuff is mainly like rust, which hopefully we got. Hopefully we got all the, the bad stuff. Yeah. Playing suspension bushes and like leaking dampers, stuff like that. So we've checked our dampers, we've got brand new springs. We gave stuff a wiggle when the suspension was off and like the wheels were up. Yeah. So fairly confident about that. Braking performance, <laughs> it <Yeah>. worked. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully well enough. And then the rest of it is mostly like safety stuff. So do the lights work? Wipers, washers, that sort of stuff. That sort of stuff. Kind of stuff you don't want Can to do. Can you see on the windscreen? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to do like all the work you've had to do and then it fails on the headlight bulb. Yeah. So we'll have a quick check of those. Yeah. It'll just fell on all the rust and no <laughs> Yeah. We cleaned up the headlights. Um, yeah, mine's rubbish, but gloss over that. Check the bulbs work, we had one brake light out. Yeah. Um, but that's repaired and fine, all good. So the only thing we think we've got left. <laughs> Window wipers. Right. Windscreen wipers, because these are. They're not attached. No. There's no blades. I accidentally turned them on the other day. I wondered why there was a, a streak across the window. We've been trying to avoid it because they're covered in moss and like dirt and grit. They, yeah, nine years. One doesn't have a blade. One doesn't, yeah, one's just like the back one. And I'd lent it in and that thing. And you know when you knock it, it always goes on fast as well. You never yeah. knock it on like one swipe, and you go, it's it goes, it's like, yeah. and it's just like. Did you do that? Did you panic? You can get it off. Yes. <laughs> Lights go on. And... Yeah, so change those to not knackered ones. Check there's water in it. 
and it's not all old and gunky. See if the washers work. Oh God, I hope they do. Yeah. I can't be bothered chasing more like electrical stuff and replacing pumps. And Hopefully, if it doesn't work, it's just blocked. Maybe. You can blow it. Yeah, I give it a <laughs> blow. Yeah. Yeah. I give the old yeah, blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Alright, we got the right one? Well, uh, anyway, <laughs> they were the like, cheapest, not really janky of them. Really? Yeah. Usually quite expensive, aren't they? I was less than a tenner for both from Euro, which is... It's not bad going, right? Yeah. Right. I've got the little one. You got the big one? Make sure they are the right size. Okay, this one looks a bit short. Mine's alright. That's what Google said. Google never lies, right? Ah, the blade's the same length. This one's just got longer. Yes. Do you find these are always way more of a pain than you expect? Yeah, I always get really confused and then afterwards I'm like, oh that was it. Yeah, it should be really simple. It's not really good, that we did. No, we're like, what cutting just bits out, we've welded bits back in. Can't fit a set of windows. Can't, window Can't fit a set of windows. Can't fit a set of windows. I find if you work out which way they go before, that makes life a lot easier. Like, at least work out which way it bends. Oh, like that? Yeah. You just push them out, you? Yeah, but then do you not find you try and put them backwards and then you put them down, they're like... <laughs> Upside down. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, right? That's someone ain't right. Hold up. Oh, why did mine not come off? Oh, Grace! <laughs> no, mine's not coming off. I know, that's why I want to race. It really isn't coming off. You can not get yours off. No, I can't get it off. I can push it a little bit, but it's, no. not, it's not happening. Oh my god. Why can't this, this is not going to take the glasses off in a minute? I remember I did this on my other car and the end snapped. Do you need some help getting yours off? Well, I think I need. Mm -hmm. It's a two-man job. <laughs> Why can't I get a set of window wipers? <laughs> it's a little fucky doodle. Oh, yours hasn't. Yours is shit. Is yours not Bosch? Why has it only got one Bosch on it? If we, can, we show your struggle as well, then. Is it good? Ah, oh, I see. I think shit's okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little tab. Ah, see. Secret tab. See, mine wasn't the same, which is why I can. Which is yeah, why I I'll allow that. Which is why it sucked. <laughs> it was a tricky bit, didn't it? <laughs> Don't need any window wipers anymore, it's broken. I think that is the rule with MOTs. You don't have to have a windscreen fitted. You could just take it off. The windscreen, not just the wipers though. I don't think. If you've got a screen, it can't have chips in it, and it's got to be cleared by the wipers. So that sounds to me. But I don't think you have to have a windscreen. What you're telling me is, it's just if you've got chips, take the window out. Yeah, and disable your wipers. And probably your washers, because that wouldn't be a fail, but it'd be pretty unpleasant, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and here we go. Straight in. Easy peasy. Is that all right? That's all the way in. Is it? Yeah. I think I click. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with now. Oh, it's dark. Yeah. It looks like water though, look. It's dripping off. Yeah, it's something. It's dripping all gunny. Wrap me. No, I'm going to stop finger but even my little lady hands are too fat for that. You only put one finger in at a time, you just try putting the whole thing. Yeah, but I need to get to the bottom, see if it's all sludgy. Yeah, well you just, you know... Uh, well, you... Oh, this is like when I see your mum. Well, what, you try and put the fist <laughs> in straight away? No, it's not for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's water. Alright, John, let's just do it. Let's just give it a go. Yeah! Oh, no, no, one doesn't work. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah, it does. Oh. All per sight. <laughs> you just got a facial. So. I think then we are MOT ready, aren't we? It's scary to say, but yeah. However, do you remember me saying this? The air con even works. Yeah, that's no longer really the case. Do I come inside? I'll show you, we'll we come around. So, now. Nothing, literally nothing, does it? All of this works. The sound system is great. Luckily, the hazards still work. Oh yeah, how about that? Um, so I read some guys, they said like the faceplate can separate from the radio, so I took it all apart, like bent the little pins it said, used some percussive maintenance. But we didn't, we didn't do anything. No! I was really looking forward to, or we were, listening to Scottish Folk. Yep, that yeah, look at, we had six in it, and what they're all absolute bangers. Uh, run rig. Run rig, I like a bit of run rig. Shush. But no it is very folky. Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, come on, you can't argue with them. Uh, TDK. TDK, oh, I like them. They're good, then, yeah. Total dick knobs. <laughs> Total dick knobs. Um, just a big A. Just a big <laughs> You're a big A. Universal Classics and Jazz. Oh. Like Ooh. a bit of jazz? Yeah, I like a bit of snake jazz. A bit, aren't they? <laughs> I feel the best one. Oh, who's this? Kathy Matea? Kathy Matea, if anyone's heard of her. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that would have been banging on the Bose sound system. The sound yeah. system's awesome. We're looking to, forward is. to cruising around 
listening to some Kathy Matea. These bangers. Is there one more? What's... That's all of it. Uh, that's all I'm of throwing it. one because you said you liked it. Um, more irritating though. Obviously, yeah, we wanted the sound system because... No, we, we, no we, didn't, we didn't want But we were going to leave the heater and stuff in to start with. But it's all one unit. Yeah. So now we've got no aircon, no rear demister, no blowers at all. No. So if our front window lifts up... <sighs> Dead. Yep. It's game over. Game over. At that point, what's the what's the point in trying? So hopefully the MOT is not on like a humid day. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and we were going to yeah start tracking it with most of the stuff in, but now we might as well just pull it all out and we've got to find a different way of doing this in the screen. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to race and I'm just going to have to be in here with a cloth. <laughs> yeah, hanging there. off the cage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably get, I'm sure there's like some Rain-X or something you can get. Yeah. But it's nice to have a backup and on the road, just, yeah, it's, just, it's a pain in the ass. It is. The thing is, I reckon this is just the tip of the iceberg. So that, that was working and it's not. I reckon as we drive over to the uh, MOT, stuff's just slowly going to stop working. All the wheels are going to fall off. Yeah, we have, in theory, it is MOT ready, so please, all of you, cross your fingers. What are they crossing their fingers for? That it passes. Oh, I thought maybe that doesn't pass, and we crashed, and didn't make another video again. Oh. <laughs> I mean, stick in the comments either way, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Die, guys. <laughs> One of our four viewers hates us. Yeah. Just Plot watch, twist. Just watches us, just hate them Come on, much. screw up, just hate them <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, it may be the next episode, we're not too sure yet because we've got a lot of stuff to do and obviously gonna have to get this insured and whatnot oh, yeah, to be able to drive that. it over yeah. there. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. I'll like, oh, just bung it in for the MOT. So, yeah, we've got to drive it there, so it's got to be insured to drive it there. Untaxed. If it does pass, then you've got to tax it. I'm also not sure we're gonna have to look up, or if any of you know, because we should this will go out before it gets MOT'd, I should think. If it fails and it's not dangerous, I think you can still drive it home. I think you can. Thing I is, I'm not gonna drive it home, I'm gonna drive it back to the unit. Which is yeah. So like, is that okay? We'd better find that out before I illegally drive it well that's only if it fails yeah so yeah, in an upcoming episode fairly soon hopefully you'll either see us out on the road loving life or back under the car changing something broken exhausts and two robot drop links they're my prime suspects yeah oh, more rust <laughs> reshelling <laughs> so yeah cross your fingers um as always thank you for watching and catch you next time yeah see you later